He didn't mention that he brought the players, but he did bring the players. He brought the, the, the McMullins and Tommy Hughes and the Michael guys. He brought them all here. Yeah. Uh, Roy Smith and David Smith. He brought them here. He made us a good team. We were, you know, year after year, we were top of the Irish League. There's teams I remember playing, playing tour in, at, at Inver on, <laughs> on New, 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 Year's, New Year's Day. <laughs> I mean, Busty won a standard club, as you do, on New Year's Eve. <laughs> <laughs> Sober as a judge. <laughs> yeah, right. Because, uh, yes, this one only has a spice in it, and we knew that if we had a touch to drink, we'd have been dropped the next day, and it was too much to handle. We didn't do it. He drove us hard, he brought people in, he brought fitness instructors in. People now have strength and conditioning coaches. Paul brought in uh, Stuart Donald's dad, what do you call him? I like Donald. I like Donald. I like Donald. He ran the socks of us at Sunday Bay. Players now technically want the ball and want the price and want the play, and that's fine. You know, technical skills are good, but in terms of motivation, communication, organisation, and tactics, Paul Malone is no is no better than Paul Malone, and he was fabulous for that. Your your mate David Jeffrey will be very pleased to hear that. The only thing is, no, he couldn't win anything. <laughs> but one one thing in terms, and Paul Paul mentioned it. I was only here ten seconds, and I'm laughing. Everybody here has laughed tonight because I've enjoyed tonight. And what Lauren is all about is about people. Yeah. And the Moore touched on it earlier on, and, and Archie touched on it in terms of them getting together. Lauren is a fantastic club. My best playing team was at Lauren because of the supporters. You know, Danny thought that Danny at the bar as soon as it came on with a laugh. Hey, Danny sitting there. You know, uh, there's guys that are no longer are here, Sean and Matt, and other people I remember. But they, they want Lauren to do well. But Lauren's a family, homely club. My wife was gutted not getting in, in that, an invite tonight because she wanted to be here because of Lauren. She loved Lauren. Our wives were the best team to have Lauren. It was fantastic because they're a family club working together to do the best they can for the people of Lauren. And hopefully the younger guys like Megan McCain and Stuart that are here yeah, enjoy it. Oh, oh, young ones come here, guys. Hopefully they enjoy their team at Lauren because it, it is, it's, it's a fantastic club. I've had other clubs that are more successful but not a better club than Lauren and more family club than Lauren. Harry really. You scored some. You scored some goals, legend. Don't give me that old shade either. Accept the compliment. You're an ace predator. I was lucky enough to support them as a kid. And it was one of the best achievements was getting into the team in the first place. So I was very lucky. 
Haven't supported them as a kid and then coming in. It's very hard for a local, as Jim, or John was saying earlier on there. But, but it was great crack. As Brian said, it was a family club, family team. Everybody knew everybody else. Who were the managers you remember? Uh, too many to you. I think in the late 60s, Larry must have been in four or five Steve Cup semi-finals and they must have been under a different manager every time. The one I played in in 71 was uh, Jackie Muller and uh, they took us into, he took us into the Irish League in January of 72 when Derry dropped out. So, as I say, too many managers to be, but Brian Halliday had a good team. But unfortunately, he sold half the bloody place. So, and we never really got, after cheating him so much, as you said, uh, Brian, there's only a certain amount you can do with a country team. The townies are always going to be there about, if you know. But it's nice to hear them coming down to RB Country Club and sort of enjoying it. That was the best part of it. Talking about managers, were you lucky enough to miss the Malone years? <laughs> Uh, I think I actually played against him, uh, probably, so yeah. Uh, he was a good player, he was a good striker, but he's a bastard as well. As you say, I was, I was lucky enough to miss him, Jerry. So, no, uh, as I say, Brian Holiday, uh, but too many managers. To, uh, every year we seem to have a different manager, you know, but he seemed to have a settled team. But unfortunately, he sold half of them. So. Many years were you here? Mm. 18 to maybe 15, got some 20 maybe. Don't wear my Just a 20. Yeah. You like John, did you win anything? <laughs> uh, part, well, I'll, I'll tell you this. I played in uh, about eight Irish Cup semi finals, including replays, and we never got the one final. <laughs> but I think the teams that beat us in the semi final actually went on to win it. Clifton Valls, you know, feats. Carrick Rangers actually in the beat of them. They beat us, they went on to win it that year. So, we've done our best. We had great crack. But would you do it all over again? I would do it tomorrow. It was deep. Well, you're a, you're a legend here. Oh, yeah. Thank you. How are you? Thank you very much, Bob.